All right, guys, you're working hard on your abs. You're training them consistently. Is there anything you can do to maximize the effectiveness of those abdominal exercises? And the answer is yes, there is. One of the big mistakes I notice when I see people train uh, in different fitness centers is that they often achieve a resting point in the abdominal exercise. In other words, they're moving to a position where the exercise gets easier and the muscles, the abdominal muscles, are essentially being what we call unloaded. They're basically resting. They're not working as hard. They're leaning in a position, crunching through a range that is giving the abdominal muscles an opportunity to rest. So here's an easy rule of thumb. You don't have to get super technical and over the top about this. Without even watching you, I can tell you that if you simply move in a pattern where the load, in other words, the effort that you need to apply is consistent and it sometimes increases to where the exercise gets a little tougher versus easier, that's going to be a productive way to train your abs. You don't want muscle unloading, in other words, these easy zones where you just kind of drift through the exercise. And so whether it's a machine and or a body weight movement, whatever it might be, uh, keep the muscles under high tension. Don't move through a pattern where the movement gets easier. That should tell you right there, I'm engaging fewer muscle fibers, getting less of a stimulus and less of a response, which equals less results. So keep the muscles working, keep the tension high on those abdominal muscles and you'll get better results consistently. This is day 102, day 202 of Train Like a Champion.